to ESL 101 with Ina. In my search for the best ESL companies in the Philippines, I've come across quite a lot and this video could save you weeks or even months of searching on the internet. To make job hunting easier for you, I rounded up a list of the best ESL companies in the Philippines. And then I realized that what's best for me isn't necessarily what's best for others. Some people look for the highest paying ESL companies, some people look for flexible hours, some some people look for companies that accept beginners, so you get the point. What I did is I just categorized the list, and this first video is about my favorite, the company with the highest starting rate among the ESL companies. Without further ado, let's proceed to the list. But before that, oops, meron pala. Kindly like, subscribe. I don't know where this is my first time. Anyway. Go to the list. Number one is Amazing Talker. Number two is Cambly. Number three is DD Tutor. Number four is um, Alfish. Number five is Bunny English. Number six is Zik Talk. Number seven is Panda English. Number eight is In Future Mint. And number nine is Dun 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 Nova Kid. Yay! <laughs> Sound effects like Nova Kid. Of course, I can just give you a list and you can read it, but if you're like me who's all hurry and always multitasking, you could use this. You can play the video in the background while you're cooking, while folding the clothes, so this might be helpful. Let's go to the first company. is an amazing talker. You can set your own rate. You can set it from $10 to $28 per hour. Students are Taiwanese kids and adults. It's a booking system. And the lessons are 15 minute video classes. And you make your own lesson. The work schedule, it's up to you, but of course, it will be to your advantage if, if you will open slots during their peak hours. The pay is once a month via PayPal, TransferWise, and Payoneer. Yeah, Payoneer. Experience in teaching and certificates are required. The pros for me and this company are the rate, the flexible schedule, and no di makatarungang deductions. Gold in an ESL company. As someone who came from a company that I won't name, <laughs> na traumatized yung ang laki ng deductions. The students are polite, and you will be forced to upgrade yourself. This for me is a big pro because the cons are, of course, you have to sell yourself, which is not easy. The competition is very tough. You are competing against native English speakers, and you make your own lessons. It's, they deduct 30% from your earnings if you will earn only $100, $100 per month. For every $100 that you earn, they will reduce it by 1%. So if you earn $1,500 a month, you will not deduct any amount. And then the next company is Cambly. Cambly has $10 per hour. They have adults, mostly adult students from anywhere in the world. And the system is go online and teach. You can teach anywhere, anytime, anywhere. You just go online and someone will call you if someone will call you. It's a 25-minute video class, more in conversational English, and it can be done on mobile devices. Um, the work schedule is up to you. It's highly flexible. You can go online whenever you want. And uh, the pay is every Monday via PayPal, and they have no requirements, as in zero requirements, as long as you're fluent in English. The pros are the rate, the no requirement, teach on mobile, highly flexible, adult students, conversations, and not lessons. And the cons for me, classes are not guaranteed. You go online, it doesn't mean that someone will call you, right? So you have to wait. And you don't get paid for waiting. You get paid only on the actual minutes that you spend talking to the students. The hiring process could take up to six months, I heard. Next company is DD Tutor. The starting rate is between three and twelve dollars per hour. The students are mostly Taiwanese and Korean kids and adults. The regular students, it's a 25 minute video class with easy to follow lessons that are provided by the company. And the schedule is up to you. It's highly flexible. A is every 20th of the month via PayPal. Certificates are a plus, although not required. And the pros are, I heard the owner is really very nice and considerate, which is hard to find among ESL companies. And then, of course, yung easy to follow, ready-made lessons. Unlike with other companies, kailangan mo pa mag 
of course, spend hours. Aside from the hours you spend teach, actually teaching the students, you, you spend time preparing the lessons. And the cons for me, as I am still in the process of applying, the only cons that I can think of is right now is masyadong matagal yung, yung hiring process or kaya baka masyado silang choosy ayaw nila sa akin. <laughs> The next company is Palfish. In, at Palfish, you can set your own rate from 180 passes to 268 passes per hour. The students are Chinese kids to adults. You can go online and teach, or you can also have booking, bookings. It's a 25-minute video class and make your own lesson, and you can do it on your mobile phone. The work schedule is totally up to the teacher. The pay is once a month via via Pioneer and the requirements are any of the following TESOL, TEFL, or LET certificates. The pros for me are the rate, flexible schedule, no demakatarong charges, deductions, and you will be forced to upgrade yourself because you are competing against other um, t teachers. The cons for me is to sell yourself, you're competing with others. So it's not easy, and you make your own lessons. And then they deduct 20% of the uh, amount the students pay you. Or the next company is Shipan Group, or sometimes known as Bunny English Group. The rate is $5.5 per hour, or 285 depending on conversion. The students are Chinese kids, regular classes, 15-minute video class, and the schedule is five between five to ten. The pay is twice a month via AB Paymate or PayPal. Um, they require teaching experience. The pros are the great, um, no fuss, no deductions, just arrange with the students for class reschedule. And it's not a company, it's just a group of parents organizing the students to come to communicate with the, the teachers here in the Philippines. So the teachers receive the full amount that the students pay. So that's what's good about them. And I heard the parents are willing to pay extra for the teachers who are really good. And then the cons, you can only work for a maximum of five hours a day unless siguro medyo full ka and medyo high ang demand sa'yo. Baka mag-request sila na mag-add ng hours. But for starters, you can only open um, from 5 to 10, which is, tama yung math ko, 5 hours. <laughs> yeah, 5 hours a day. The next company is ZikTok. $3 to $30 per hour. The students are Chinese kids. It's a booking system, and you can do it on your mobile phone. Those for this company are first yung rate of course and you can do it on your mobile phone and for the con only one i just saw on the comment section on the comment section na mababa daw yung booking rate i don't know it maybe it depends on the teacher better that's what i saw so i just thought i'd let you know too and then the next company is panda abc the rate is 150 to 225 and the students are group, a group of four Chinese students per class. It's a regular class, 25 minute class video. The working hours are from 7 to 9 p.m. from Monday to Friday. There are no requirements mentioned. And according to them, they give monthly bonuses. So that's a pro. Another pro for those who are looking for a minimal, minimal required hours, you can work at least an hour a day only. And the con for me, but may, might be a pro for other people, is that you can only teach for two hours a day. But then again, if you're very busy and you just need two hours a day to teach for a side hustle, perfect for you. The next company is In Futuro Mint. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. In Futuro Mint. The rate is undisclosed, but according to them, um, they guarantee that they are one of the highest, if not the highest, in the industry. So I don't know how much that is. And then Mejo undisclosed the mga details, so I can't provide anything else. Um, aside from, I saw in one ad that they are looking for teachers, bachelor's degree in elementary education with teaching experience. The next company is Nova Kid. 
<laughs> the rate at Nova Kid is five dollars per hour. You teach kids from anywhere in the world, especially Europe, and you get regular classes. They have 25 minute video classes with easy to follow lesson materials. The work schedule, you can set a maximum of 8 hours a day from 2 p.m. to 2 a.m. But then among less. Um, and then you can change it anytime you like as long as may enough time para walang charges. One of the best things about NovaKid for me is that you can actually get your money. You can cash out anytime, whenever you like, via PayPal. They require one year of teaching experience and teaching certificates like TESOL, TEFL, TEYL, whatever else you have. Uh, just because I work here, very considerate, no unfair deductions for missed classes, especially for connection issues. And then you get bonuses like if you convert a student, try a student who signed up for a trial class with you and then they decide to enroll, you get two credits for that class. So that's, that's a bonus. Um, and then you also get one credit, one class credit for every 10 positive feedbacks given by the parents. And they also provide opportunity for improvement and growth through webinars and there's a library of teacher resources that you can easily access anytime. The cons for me, I'm not complaining and I, I know it's part of what I signed up for, but since there are a lot of level zero and one students or beginners, it's physically exhausting. What I did, I lessened my daily slots to ensure that I can deliver the, amount, the same amount of energy in every class. So if Let's go to the cons. I'm not complaining and I know that it's part of what I signed up for, but since there are a lot of levels, level zero and one for beginner students, it's physically exhausting. So what I did was I lessened my load to make sure that I can maintain the same level of energy in every class. So that's all. So there you have it. All information were gathered to the best of my ability. If there are updates that include, please don't bash me. <laughs> if you have comments, suggestions, or other companies that you want me to include in my next videos, kindly type on the question and if this video helped you in some way and or if you're feeling a little bit kind today, you're in a good mood, please consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell somewhere. Please help me. So there you have it, ESL friends. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, this is ESL 101 with Ina. Have a nice day and see you in the next videos. Bye.